Painting number four is the last painting of this DVD. With this advanced nature painting, I'll be showing you how to make these mountains with a foam brush and these pine trees with a household sponge. So let's go ahead and get started. First, before you spray any paint down, take a small planet stencil that's going to be your moon and place it down onto your painting near the top left corner. Now you can carefully lift up the planet stencil to reveal the moon. Next we're going to make a quick cloud stencil so take a piece of poster board and tear along the edge so that you have a re do a few test dots on the side to make sure it's spraying nice and smooth. Then quickly move your can straight across as you hit the straight edge getting some of the overspray onto the painting which creates the and cloud. Use it to mix up the blue and black together. At the same time the brush is soaking up a lot of the paint. Try to keep most of the paint in the tip of the brush. Instead of letting the paint get into the top part of the brush where it could be wasted. Once you have the tip of your brush fully loaded with paint you're ready to start making the mountain. To get down towards the bottom wipe the brush straight across to fill it in. Keep tapping your brush down and as you head towards the bottom of the mountain make your pattern more jagged and make more black spaces in between the blue. This will give you more peaks to highlight later on. Now we're going to make a pine tree so start dabbing your sponge in the black area and move the sponge slightly left to right as you move upward. Near the top of the tree dab lighter and dab less of the sponge down this way you can taper off the tree now to a point. Now once the paint is coming out nicely, take it over to your painting and start adding some details. You want to touch down the corner of the poster board as lightly as you can so that you can keep that corner sharp. This way the branches will be thin and when you get towards the end of the branch, give the poster board a quick flick so that it tapers off. Looks like we're all finished with the final painting of this DVD. Let's take a closer look. I want to thank you for following along with me today. I hope the techniques I've shown you along the way will get you off to a good start to creating all kinds of paintings right from your imagination. I'm Brandon McConnell. Thanks for watching and have a good day.